All right, hey, this is Rudy Mendez, a.k.a. Live Bandit, formerly known as Big Daddy. I am up here in Kerrville doing uh, some prep for the Kerrville Triathlon that we got going on tomorrow. Um, we're going to do it as a relay. Anthony, he's out there in the water right now. He's going to be doing the swim portion, 1.2-mile swim. I'm going to be doing the bike portion, 56-mile bike. And JP is going to be doing the run, a 13.1-mile run. So we're doing this as a relay, um, A, because... Anthony's a hell of a swimmer, I'm a hell of a cyclist, and JP's a hell of a runner, and uh, it sucks because I can't run, so that's going to be the biggest reason. But anyway, up here doing Kerrville uh, Tri-Fest tomorrow, which is going to be Sunday, September 30th, um, but right now I just want to talk about Super Saturday, right? So Super Saturday's got a couple meanings behind it in my recovery. Um, first off, Super, because... During my manic phases, being bipolar depressive, um, during my manic phases, I thought I was Superman. I thought I was a superhero. I thought that I was above everybody and I was God. Um, after I started my medications and taking them on a regular basis, um, cutting back on the alcohol and then totally eliminating alcohol, I realized that I'm just a mere human. I'm a mere human that makes mistakes. Um, you know what? I thought that um, I had to live an awesome life and a, I had to live a super life by being the drunk asshole that um, everybody liked. But honestly, I'm just the asshole who doesn't care if anybody likes him or not now, um, now that I'm sober. And the reason and the way that I got uh, rid of that or rid of that ego, I should say, is by making sure that I stay on top of my meds, um, being bipolar depressive. It's pretty tough, only because you still deal with the manic and depressive states. Um, they're just not as, as, as tough as, as they used to be. They're not as hard to deal with. Um, it's a little easier to pull out of them. Now, recently, um, I got into a real bad depression state just because I was told I had to have back surgery. Um, and then I wouldn't be able to ride a bike for like nine months, right? And so... That stripped me away of who, who I who I am, um, or who I, I have recently become, and it sucked um, because at first I was the drunk asshole, um, got sober, then I became the triathlete um, who uses triathlons as part of his recovery, and then now that I'm gonna have back surgery and I'm not gonna be able to ride for you know a, a, around a year, um, who am I, right? So I went from Superman to nobody um, really really swift kick to the ego um, and which is a good thing because I don't need my ego uh, my alter ego used to be Big Daddy and as you can tell I say formerly known as Big Daddy right and the reason is because Big Daddy knew everything Big Daddy had to be the life of the party Big Daddy was always right and always had to be right um, and nobody could ever tell Big Daddy otherwise. Um, I had to get rid of that ego because that's uh, the ego that was uh, major false pretenses. Um, it was a way for me to hide um, how I truly felt and who I truly was. And that was someone who was scared, someone who, who didn't know how to deal with life, right? And now that I've been sober for almost 21 months, um, <laughs> it's still scary. Um, but... I know that I can deal with life on life's terms. And you've heard me say that before. And it rings true. I talk to myself about it every day. Yes, I do talk to myself. I am still kind of crazy like that. But I don't know who doesn't, right? Um, but I was able to relinquish that, that alter ego of Big Daddy and now be Rudy, you know? Yeah, I call myself Live Bandit just because I do a lot of social media and I do a lot of Facebook Live for that social media to raise money and raise uh, awareness for multiple sclerosis. But um, that ego that ego is in check a lot more. It's not gone. It's not gone at all. But it's in check a lot more. And I tell you, when I'm having pretty crappy days, it's when Big Daddy starts to creep in. And I have to re remi remind myself that... That's not who I want to be. That's not who I am. That's not who I need to be anymore. Um, so, you know, dealing with my ego, being Superman, and knowing that I was better than everybody else took a toll on me. 
And in order to deal with that, I drank and drank and drank because I had to hide who I truly was and how I truly felt. Again, being sober now, 21 months-ish, um, I don't care what people think of me um, to an extent, right? I don't care that I'm not the life of the party. I don't care that I'm not always right. I don't care that I'm wrong and I'm human and I make mistakes. Yeah, it hurts when I do, but doesn't mean that it's, it's creeped in with that other ego. And yeah, it, like I said, it comes inside every once in a while, but then I kick it straight out because I got to. If I don't kick out that ego, then uh, Superman and Big Daddy come out and then I'll be drinking again. And I'm super afraid of drinking again because I know if I relapse one more time that I'm not gonna be here to do these videos, to talk to my family, to be, be a good husband. Um, you know, and, and uh, yesterday I was thinking, it was Forgetful Friday, right? And when I was knee deep in my drinking, I'd forget a lot of stuff. I forgot who I really was. I forgot how to be a husband, how to be a son, an uncle, you know, a brother, right? I forgot a lot of that. And now that I'm sober, I'm forgetting the fact that I have to have Big Daddy around in order to, I'm forgetting Big Daddy basically. Um, and I'm becoming a, a, a good husband, I'm becoming. I'm not there yet. You know, but I'm, I'm definitely becoming a better husband, a better son, a better uncle, um, and a better athlete, you know. So this weekend is the Kerrville Triathlon Fest up here in Kerrville, Texas. Um, we're doing this as a relay. It's going to be the half distance. It's a relay, 1.2-mile swim done by Anthony. I'm doing the 56-mile bike. JP's doing the 13.1-mile run. And then the cool thing is next weekend, me and Marissa are going to be doing a uh, century ride on Saturday and about 40 miles day two on Sunday um, all to raise money and raise awareness for multiple sclerosis um, so next weekend stay tuned you're gonna see a little bit more of the live video so go to uh, Rudy Mendez on Facebook um, I'm attached to team wingman on Facebook and keep an eye out for the live videos I do a lot of live videos um, that's why they call me live bandit because I start to do interviews for those that are out there on the rides. Um, I don't prep them. I don't give them a heads up. I'm going live. I don't do none of that. The only people I prep is myself during these videos. So, and that's sometimes. Um, but yeah, so we're raising money for, sorry, I'm standing in ants. Uh, we're raising money for the National MS Society next week. And actually, I'm still fundraising right now. Um, we're about $7,000 shy of the, the $60,000 goal that I got uh, for us prior to Bike MS. And if we hit that $60,000 between now and next uh, October 3rd, um, which is in about four days, I'm going to be dyeing my hair uh, orange. Oh, no, green. And my goatee orange. So in the comment section, there's going to be a link to my fundraising. Please, please, please donate so that we can hit that $60,000 mark. And you're going to have to see me in lime green and uh, hair and orange goatee. Um, but the best part about that is that money goes to fundraise for the National MS Society to help all those millions of people that are suffering from that nasty disease that we call multiple sclerosis. Um, help us out, fundraise, cheer us on during this Kerrville Triathlon, but, and don't forget, check that ego. Check that ego, because you're not Superman, I'm not Superman, that's it. Alright, this is Live Bandit, try for recovery. And we're out. As you can tell, it's windy. <laughs>